This is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and in this video what I'm going to do is show you with a few different functions how to find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is where a uh, graph crosses the y-axis. So thinking about that for a moment, what happens at a point where you're crossing the y-axis? So if this is my graph, or here's my x and my y, we're crossing the y-axis, what would this point have to look like? Well, it has to be of the form 0, comma, some number, and the reason is because notice you have no x, there's no positive x, there's no negative x, there's no uh, length either direction, so that x ends up being a 0. So another way to think about this is it's the point where x equals 0. In other words, what I want to do is I want to set x equal to 0, and then I can solve for y. Typically, this is going to be a lot easier than finding x-intercepts where you do the reverse, where you set y equal to 0 and solve for x. So in our first function, our linear function, I'm going to let x equal 0. So what's going to happen? I'm going to get y equals 5 times 0 minus 4. You probably wouldn't even normally write that out, right? Because you can do that in your head and see that y must equal negative 4. So a couple ways to think about this. So we can say uh, the graph crosses uh, the y-axis at the point 0, comma, minus 4. Or you could also simply say there's a y-intercept at uh, minus 4 a couple different ways. It doesn't really matter which way you say unless you're taking a class where somebody wants to see it in a specific way. So from now on, I'll just do the work, assuming you'll write it in one of these ways. All right, so a lot of times you can do this in your head. For example, take a look at B. If this is 0 and this is 0, this must be 6, right? So in other words, if I let uh, x equals 0, I get y equals 0 squared, 0, minus 0, plus 6, which simplifies out to 6. So again, I could do the same thing here and say this graph crosses the y-axis at the point 0, comma, 6, or I could say we have a y-intercept at 6. Okay, for C, a rational function, it looks like it's going to be really complicated, right? But all I got to do is plug in 0. So I would say, okay, y equals 0 minus 1 over 0 plus 4. I get minus 1 over 4, which, you know, you can write as minus 1 fourth. I think it looks a little bit nicer. So this graph crosses the y-axis at minus one-fourth. Now there can be situations where maybe you have an uh, asymptote on that, on that axis or something like that, but that will come out when you're doing this work. So again, same idea. You can write it this way, any of these ways, but we're all trying to understand what the graph looks like when we do this.